Hey everybody, it's Kat again. I was putting up the clothes from the boys after changing them into their theme Thursday outfit, and these two started throwing a fit. They wanted to participate in theme Thursday also. So, I still don't have my closet cleared enough to know where their matching outfits are at, so we went digging into the newborn girl's drawer, and we found them both something with green that they can wear. And as y'all can see, Briar Rose has her hair down. And let me, let me move Aurora over for just a moment and show y'all. This is what it's like when I have it down and I just wet it, kind of let it go, you know, scrunch it up. And I think it's beautiful. Maybe a little bit too much hair, you know, for what a real newborn would have. And I'm thinking about having it thinned out just a little bit. Uh, they're going to go with me to my next um, hair appointment. And I'm going to have my hairdresser look at it and just, you know, just make it a little bit shorter. I love it like this. Asha did a great job in rooting it and giving me the length that I want. But just as it's come along, you know how your taste change a little bit? I just kind of realized that this isn't realistic for a newborn baby. Not that we'll have a whole lot taken out. Mainly, I'm just going to have her trim and maybe do a little bit of layering in here and trim up the back some because it goes, you know, pretty far down between where her shoulder blades would be. So, um, we're going to get that done a little bit. So, let's, let's get around to changing her. Let's see, which one do I want to put her in? I think she will look real pretty in the little flower, the one that has the different colors of greens with little flowers all over. We'll just kind of get this ready like that, take her out of this. So let me tell you, when the girls gang up, man, you've got to listen to them. <laughs> I tell you, they're little divas like my nieces that they're kind of uh, made to resemble. Yes, my, my nieces are, my twin nieces are biracial and uh, mama's white, daddy's black, but they have these really squinty eyes and everybody thinks that they're oriental mix. It is hilarious. And then when they see their mom and their daddy, her, their daddy has really uh, squinty eyes and they're like oh okay I tell you these babies are painted wonderfully and the texture on here is just perfect I tell you if you ever get a chance to get a baby from Asha I suggest you do it so let's get her up here There. Some of you may notice I've got one fingernail painted purple. I've seen this on some commercial or something somewhere that um, I think it's for like safe haven or something like that for women who have been in domestic violence. Or I guess men too. I don't know if it just says specifically women. But anyway, it's to bring an awareness and a stop to domestic violence. So... I had some purple fingernail polish because I don't normally paint my fingernails that often. And I painted my one finger purple. So then Mom and I got into a, this whole big discussion of what does purple really stand for. And I was telling her how purple is also for lupus awareness and some of the cancers and different things. And she had just never heard of that. So there, we got Miss Briar Rose all dressed. And that hair, when you lay it down, it gets wild. But, oh, I don't know if you can see her very well, but there she is. And let's just lay her over here. Oh, and bring Aurora in. Aurora still has her hair up. 
because it's a lot of hair on here, ladies, that I had to go through and I wet it down really good and then I took my very big wide tooth pick and uh, had to go through it and get some of the uh, tangles out of it. Even though it was up like that, the minute you take it down, it was um, pretty tangly. But we got it. I tell you, between this camera that angle and how I'm sitting, this video might make a lot of y'all dizzy. <laughs> We're going to put Aurora in this little heart that says love, little sleeper. It has green hearts on it. My sinuses are wanting to act up this afternoon. And I don't like it when it does that. This up. Yes, both of these babies have a heartbeat in them. And if I ever open them up again to re weight them or readjust them or something, those they're coming out. I don't like them. I did at first, but then it started feeling kind of, kind of creepy to me, because you don't really feel a real baby's heartbeat like you do that, and because they are so loose in how I have them filled and everything, those little suckers move all the way around. Sometimes it may be in the back, sometimes it may be up front, sometimes in the diaper area. They just, I don't know how it does it, but they move around. So. I don't really care for them. And plus, babies aren't supposed to click either. Okay. So here's Aurora. You don't see the back of her hair, so I can just kind of hold it up. And there she is for her theme Thursday. So we've gotten a couple of the boys, and we've gotten the twins here. All dressed for theme Thursday. And I think this is the first that I've gotten this many babies done and on time. So this is Kat signing off saying, meow, meow.